Okay, good afternoon, everyone. And welcome to the public hearing at San Benito CISD School District. Today's Tuesday, June 27, 2023. And I call this meeting to order at exactly 5.15 p.m. A 1.2 public comment and proposed budget for the 22, I mean, 23, 24 uh, school year. Ms. Leo. Yes, we have no public comment for the proposed budget, so we are going to go ahead and move on to number two, discussion on adopting, adopting the budget for the 23-24 school year. Uh, we have Ms. Mata, our chief academic, I'm sorry, chief financial officer that will be coming forward. Good afternoon, Mr. Lopez, Board President, Mrs. Edrion, and Board of Trustees. I'm here to present the 2324 uh, proposed budget for San Benito CISD. Uh, I've uh, handed out each one of you a packet, and I'm going to go ahead and go through it. Uh, please stop me at any time if you have any questions. Okay, so just the cover page and then the letter stating that, you know, there's a presentation of the 2324 budget. At the bottom, you can see that the child nutrition program is 9,437,380. Local funds, which consist of 161, 162, 163, and 199, is 102, 774, 135. And then the debt service is 8,007,771. Again, this is exactly what I represented last week, with the differences being in uh, 162 for band which I added the tractor trailer and the band uniforms and then the uh, drums that Mr. Mendoza requested. I have a question. Uh, is, the, is the trailer included or the tractor? I, I added 100,000. Uh, the quotes that he had given me for the tractor, the front part, right. was uh, the highest one was 60,000. So I added 40,000 for the back part. Okay. So, I, so I, I budgeted 100,000. Okay. So I budgeted 100,000 on that one. And then the uniforms, I believe, was 27,100, and mm -hmm. the drums were, give me a minute, I'll tell you, the drums were 69,000. The drums and the uniforms are for the middle school uh, band. Okay. How much was that? The drums were 69,380, okay. and the uniforms were 27,100. Okay. Okay. Um, All middle schools, right? All middle, the three middle oh, schools, okay, yes. Three, three of them. Yes. So. Um, Ms. Mata, just. just just to be clear, so everyone knows, uh, these new is this a new tractor and trailer? Is it used, or what condition is it in? Or uh, put, let me look can you at specify the, that, please. Let me look at it, and I brought it just in case you asked. I think it was okay. much needed. I think everybody agrees on that. It was it was a much needed, uh, you know, uh, expense for our. For our band. Okay, so the highest one that I mentioned is a 2019 Peter Peterbilt, and that's 59,658.65. So that's one of them, and then another one's a 2000. So they are used uh, tractors. What's the difference on a brand new one compared to a 2019? I will not be. I can get you that information, but at this point, I can't tell you. I doesn't say on these quotes, so. But I can find out for you. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the other uh, differences on the presentation is I did add $1 million to the use of fund balance, and that is for the turf for both the softball and the baseball field. I did try and contact, like I stated last time, my previous district where we did do both at the same time. But they were at a golf. They had their golf tournaments for the scholarship donations uh, as well yesterday. So I wasn't able to get a hold of them. Um, and then the other one I had previously uh, added about three hundred sixty-five thousand for a uh, step increase for teachers. But that's going to, of course, once the compensation, it's a different amount. But that's already embedded in there. I also added. Um, for the culinary kitchen, VMA, remember that JET grant mm -hmm. that um, we were given money uh, for the culinary? There's construction involved in it, engineering and so forth, and plumbing, and that is still in progress. That's about 256000 So, And then, of course, uh, some more salaries for some additional uh, 
officers and security guards that uh, we I hadn't added. So those, those are basically the changes. There might be something like small amounts that I don't remember, but uh, those I added uh, either yesterday afternoon or this, this morning actually. So uh, more than that, I haven't added to the budget from what I presented last time. Uh, so I'm gonna review it. Let me know if you have any questions in the process. No, I just wanted to point out. I just wanna just, I wanna thank you so much because I know this, this whole dialogue and conversation as far as the turfs on the baseball and I know we've done a lot of uh, improvements on the softball field in both baseball and softball, but just, just to create more space and, and, and so on and so forth. But I wanna thank you so much for actually, you know, uh, Finding the funds and, and making sure that that you know this 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 uh, this came to fruition because you know as you well know you know our, our kids deserve it you know and, and uh, that's uh, I'm just so excited to to see that this gonna it's gonna finally come to fruition after working on it for several years but I want to thank you so much for that I thank also want to thank you Ms Mata for all the work that you did and we appreciate it thank you as stated um, you know we do have a 50 million dollar fund balance at the end of last year we are looking to see how much we go into fund balance this year but you know uh, for one time expenditures. Going into fund balance once is a good thing. A continual is something we need to look at. But you know, hopefully, um, for you don't get scared with the final use of fund balance because, like I, I said, uh, we did have a 2.8 go last time. We're going to like 5.2 because of the additions that I mentioned. Uh, but I did uh, look at for every percentage uh, point that we increase in ADA, that generates about $585,000 in revenue. So hopefully. Looking again, as I stated last time, looking at our enrollment, looking at our ADA, and hopefully um, just make, being vigilant about those numbers, hopefully we can minimize the use of fund balance just like we are this year. Okay. So going into the presentation itself, the next page is the summary of proposed budget by fund groups. As you can tell, and it's kind of small for the audience, but the, again, the same funds that we had, which is 101, a child pr uh, nutrition program, 161 through 199, which consists of our general fund, which again is athletics, band, choir, and our local funds. And then 598 and 599, which is 598 is the LED project that we had, and the 599 is for our bond. And I'm just gonna go over the total revenues. The revenues for the child nutrition program is 9,437,380 which if you look at the bottom portion of it, it is the same amount, and we are using 418,254. As I mentioned last time, um, that Mrs. Uh, Soto was working with the TDA in submitting a plan to see how we use that uh, excess fund balance that they're mandated us to spend. She did send me an email, and it's $2 million, and I'm just gonna summarize it real quick. In essence, walking free, and it's for the high school, La Paloma, Dr. Garza, Miller Jordan, I can email you this uh, later or present it to you later. Uh, Berta Cavaza, Fred Booth, uh, the warehouse itself, Riverside, and Dr. Cash. It's walking uh, freezers, serving lines, uh, ovens, and combination ovens, cafe upgrades in, at three different campuses, uh, serving lines at three campuses. So it's a variety of things. And I know that when she emailed me, I did ask, because I remember somebody asked me, are we looking at furniture as well? So I did uh, ask her that, and she said that she was looking at it. So, uh, but like that total that she submitted is two million dollars. Okay. Um, for fund 161 199, the total revenues is one million two hundred two hundred and seventy two million one hundred two million seven hundred seventy four thousand one thirty five, and the expenditures are one million one hundred two million seven seventy four one thirty five. So you look at that one and you can see the use of fund balances here is 6 million point four. Remember, 1.2 million of that is something that is embedded in there because if we don't get that 1.2 million from TA that we are supposed to, I did talk to Amanda Bronson, which is from TASBO. This, she's our mediator between TA and ourselves. And she said that for me to expect it when they give us the 2324 EDA payment so that it is safe to assume that we will be getting it. So that 6.4 would be 5.2. Okay, then for the 598 and 599, the total revenues is 8,007,771. You look at the bottom, that's the total amount of our payments. So total revenues is $120,219,286. And then the total expenditures matches. So the total use of fund balance from both food service and general fund is $6.8 million. Any questions on that? Okay. 
The next uh, three slides are just pie charts so you can see the percentage of local revenue is uh, 18%, and then the state revenue is the largest one, of course, 66%, then the federal revenue is 9%, and transfer ins is 1%, and then the fees of fund balance is 6%. So that's by object code, and then by function, if we look at the next page, it's instructional, instructional support, student support, and central administration, and you can see the percentage, and again, the largest percentage is instructional, which is at 48%. So the next one is by object code, and of course, all the three pie charts are in reference to all the funds as a whole. And so for payroll cost is 71% as a whole, which is our largest expenditure uh, for the district. The next one is the comparison of current adoption to next year proposed. So this one, if you look at the next page, you'll see the, 20, the current 22-23 budget and then the proposed, which is 23-24, and the percentage change that you'll see. So for the total revenues this year, the revised is 120,541,209 versus next year's proposed is 120,219,286. Slight change there, very slight. And like I said, if we increase our ADA attendance and our enrollment, hopefully that will change as well. On the revised uh, expenditure portion of it, the total expenditures are $121,995,372.90 versus the proposed is $122,19,286. So a slight uh, decrease there too. So any questions on that? And if you want to talk about it more in depth at the later point or want to bring me the information, go ahead and ask and we'll present it at a either finance committee meeting or at the public. So um, then the next one, this is a requirement. I'm sorry, I forgot to put that up for the public. Uh, but the next one is a requirement, the House Bill 5, that we have to budget for EOC. And that one is, there's a letter from TA from 2014. It's been ongoing. And then this one is the budget that is there, which is 35,000 for them to use for tutoring and so forth. And then the next one is just a required posting that it, uh, it compares again 2223 to 2324 by function. And this is mandated that we post also on the website. And so you can see the differences per pupil expenditures. The one on 2223 was based on 7857 versus the 2324 is 8016. So then, of course, this is a notice that we posted on, on the newspaper that we're having this meeting. Okay. Any questions? Yes, ma'am. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and open. So this is a public meeting. I'm going to open it up to the public. If they have any questions regarding our, our. Uh, our budget. If there are no questions, someone has a motion for adjournment. So, so move. Okay, I got an adjournment. Uh, all in favor? Second. All in favor? Okay, this meeting is 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 uh, adjourned at exactly 5:28 p.m. Thank you all Thank so much. Thank you, ma'am.